this lighting is, but really? We're just gonna go with it. <laughs> Hello, peoples of the internet. My name is Lily. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not. And today, I'm going to attempt to film my June TBR. Woo! So, June's Pride Month. I got, I got some Pride socks on. Um, so excited for June. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, I am participating in at least one Vruticon. I'm probably gonna be participating, well, at least two. I'm hosting one. I'm going to be probably participating in a few others kind of very loosely. I'm not gonna mention them because I don't know them. Because I sign up for them and I forget I do. But I will definitely be participating in whatever thon hosted by Natty from Book Browsing Vlog. Took me a minute. I am on Team Middle Grade Monarchs because I was going to do Team Contemporary or Camp Contemporary, but I literally cannot abandon Gav and Jade, who I love with my entire soul. So, Middle Grade Monarchs it is. You do get extra points if you read Middle Grade for that team, but I don't have to, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, so I have my TBR prompt jar. I didn't do a TBR last month because I didn't feel like it. Um, I'm probably not going to do a too big TBR this month because I'm a mood reader. I do have a lot of books I would like to read the month of June, but I'm not going to like put like a set like I have to read this. My goal, really Daisy. She's the worst sometimes. I'm going to go get my dog because, you know, she wanted to go chase a squirrel. So she decided to invade my filming time. I'll be right back. So I'm back. Last month, um... This technically it's still May, it's May 27th, but last month I didn't film TBR, I attempted to, but all the time I was just picking fantasy and I wasn't really gravitating towards fantasy because I've come to the realization that I'm not a huge fan of fantasy anymore. If you told me a year ago that I would be going to the bookstore to buy three contemporary books, I would have thought you were insane. But I have made it a rule to myself that I will only buy contemporary at a bookstore unless I've read the fantasy. But I won't buy fantasy unless I've read it because it's gonna take me months, to, maybe years to actually read the fantasy because I tend to read fantasies, it tends to take me a while to read them. So hopefully this TBR is mainly just contemporary or magical realism. I'm reading a magical realism right now and it's so good. Um, I definitely love a bit of magic, but I don't really like high fantasy that much because too much brain power. This, no, it doesn't take a lot for my brain to go, whoof. Then again, school is really annoying and I'm learning about stupid things that I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, literally science today was just like, that was my face the entire time of science. You know, all right, let's. Pick a prompt. I don't know how many I'm going to do. We're going to do until I feel like I've done enough. So, yeah. If you don't know how this works, I just pick a prompt out of here. Uh, there's a lot of prompts I don't really like here, but we're just going to go with it and see what happens. So, alright, this one. Um, pick a book blindfolded. Okay, can you see that? The ring light is really bright. There you go. Okay, so. How am I going to do this? I think, I don't know. I don't really want to move my tripod because it's plugged in. So I think I'm going to crop kind of a bunch of LGBTQ plus contemporary, shuffle them around in my hand, and then pick one of the one, like the one on top. So I'm going to go get some LGBTQ plus contemporary and I will be back. Okay, so I picked five books. Um, I actually literally went to the bookstore the other day and I got all five of these. So, mini haul while I talk about the books I picked. So, the first one I have is The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane. Um, this is a middle grade, I think I've heard as a dark academia. I don't know. This would fit for middle grade monarchs and it looks really good. Um, oops. <laughs> I also got Five Total Strangers by Natalie D. Richards. This is a thriller that looks really good, and it was by one guy, the deep sun off, so. And then for the LGBTQ plus contemporary, I have Juliet Takes a Breath by Gabby Rivera. I've been wanting this book for so long, and it finally came in paperback. It's, I, I think I prefer the hardcover about, uh, we're gonna go with it. This cover is really, really pretty. And this is about a girl who, she is a Puerto Rican 
girl and um when she comes out her family is like uh no so very excited to read this and i think it's gonna be really really good next thing i have is camp by lc rosen i'm pretty sure it's molly from mind of molly who loves this book i know this is about this camp obviously that is for queer teens and this boy falls in love with this other boy but the the other boy only really likes masculine masculine boys um so the main character decides to present masculine to get the boy sounds really cute really excited to read it and then the last one i have is let's talk about love by clara Kahn, maybe um this is about a biomimetic asexual whose girlfriend breaks up with her because she's asexual very excited never read a book about asexuals before i think i like i read books like with asexual characters but not like inextensive all right so let's just i'm gonna tilt the camera down if i can't yeah all right and i'm just gonna like you know do this like, until i don't i picked all paperbacks for a reason plus i really only buy paperbacks all right so this one oh okay all right so uh excuse me okay well this is the angle now Oh, good enough. So, I got The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane, and I'm very excited to read this. I've heard really good things about it, and it's a middle grade, and I just saw the word soccer, and I love soccer. So, woohoo! Soccer is amazing. I have a soccer game after this. <laughs> Alright, second prompt. I was playing, I was hoping to read that next one anyway, so we'll see if I actually do. Watch me complete this one's TBR. Oh, it won't happen, but you know, we can try. I'm scared. Okay. Oh, okay. Read a, a book with a great first sentence. This is up to my interpretation. I also forgot to mention, I'm participating in my own readathon, which is called Thrilling Thrilling Nightathon, which is a thriller readathon. So, yeah. I'm gonna go probably look at some queer books and see what I can do. So, for this one, I'm going to go with The Final Draft by O'Reilly reget maybe i want to read you the first sentence because it's very interesting every day after school she left earth for another galaxy this is a contemporary i believe this is about a girl named layla who is pansexual and she's also a teen writer um i believe that is that yeah yeah she's a writer and i saw this on like a pansexual list reading list or whatever so really excited to read this i love reading uh books of pansexual representation perfect for pride and yeah so really excited to read this uh i love writing yeah problem number three i don't know how i'm gonna do anymore after this but this is kind of fun so and i have to sneeze so hopefully i can wait until after this video is over okay no you i don't want to pick you i don't trust you there's this one that keeps popping out at me but i don't trust it oh i think i know what this is i don't know if this is mm, i'm scared okay short read under 300 pages that's my idea of a short read my idea of long read is over 500 uh no 450 so all right i'm gonna go look for a book under 300 pages i'll be back in a minute this book is 299 pages it counts i'm gonna read five total strangers i was gonna pick another i was gonna look at like more queer books but i definitely want to read books i can for my readathon um it's quite short too um, like I said, 299 pages. It's a thriller, and I can definitely read it for my readathon, which I will link the announcement video down below in case you guys want to participate. But it's a thriller readathon. Not that you have to read thrillers, but you know, I kind of want to because it's my own readathon based on thrillers. So we're gonna go with I think one more. And I'm not picking this prompt. Can you just like go away? Go away, prompt. I don't trust it. The ones that pop out at you don't trust. I said I don't trust them. And it fell out. I'm not gonna go with that one. I don't trust it. Alright. Find a stick, then close your eyes and poke your bookshelf. I stole this one from G. because She had something like this. Um, and I have a stick. It's a really big stick. I, My friend and I, we didn't make it. We found it and then made it into a javelin. So, um, I'm going to turn you around and we're just going to stick my bookshelves. Yeah. It's a stick. 
it's a really long stick. It goes to like up here. It's a really long stick. So if I get a book I've read, I'm just going to go again. This makes me look really tall. I'm not tall. I wish I was tall. All right. So yeah, I've done this before alone and it didn't really go out so well. So I promise you I'm not looking, but oh my God. This thing is so freaking long. Okay. Get a point it. All right. Okay, it first hit City of Ghosts, as you saw when, like, that. So, we're gonna do it again, because I've read City of Ghosts, love City of Ghosts, love Tunnel of Bones, they're both really good. Oh, perfect! Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but I got Amari and the Night Brothers by Bibi Alfman. This is a middle grade that everyone seems to absolutely adore. Perfect for middle grade monarchs and very excited to read it. I've heard it's so so good. I'm actually 60 pages in. I think this would be a really fast read. So really excited. Alright, let's go pick one more prompt because why the hell not? The angle has changed like five times in this video, but it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Alright. One more. I quite like this TBR. It's going real well. This one. Recent purchase. Oh, snap. All right. Which one do I want to go for? Which one am I feeling? Okay. I don't know. Which one am I feeling, guys? Um, you know what? I'll have, I'll, there is a prompt, like, a uh, feature for, um, whatever, whatever a thon. So I'm going to put these three books on a, poll and then see what I get so again we have Julia takes a breath camp and let's talk about love so I will link my twitter um down below and I'm probably going to put it on discord as well and then kind of calculate the results um but yeah so uh yeah so link my twitter down below and if you're on the whatever you whatever it's on discord you'll see my poll so yeah I'm super excited for all of these and yeah so I'll put a picture of whatever wins. I don't know how long the poll on Discord's gonna, I'm gonna let it last, but yeah. So we have these four plus whatever this is. So very excited for all of these. Like, I'm just so excited. Like, I, I feel like I haven't been this excited for a TBR in so long, but I'm very excited for this TBR. These are all like new books I've gotten or just queer books that I'm just so excited for. Or Amari, <laughs> no, I'm really excited for that one too, but yeah. Super excited. What are you planning on reading in June? Are you participating in any readathons? Let me know down below. Let me know everything. And if you made it this far in the video, comment a pride flag for June. It's probably going to go out on June 1st. So happy pride. If it's not, I'm sorry. I might have a different video going out on June 1st. But when I was going out, happy pride, late pride. Well, not really late if it's in June. Happy early pride if this is before June. And happy pride if it is in June. But yeah, love you guys so much. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!